Good morning, everyone. I'm going to attempt to do a video of Jayla. She's just got finished getting, um, uh, like sponge bath with her washcloth and her washcloth hair. And, um, I'm powdering her up and I'm going to put the phone at an angle where I hope everybody be able to see her. And so I want to dress her and everything. So I want to do like a little video. So bear with me. I got it in a oh, weird but oh, okay hope everybody can see and hear so I'm just gonna finish putting her powder on and here she is right here um so yeah I hope you guys can see her she's gonna get powdered up she's just feeling kind of sticky putting a lot of powder on her because I don't give her sponge baths every day maybe once a week and that's a big maybe um there she is oh i should be able to upload it to youtube in just one okay if anything i'll probably um end up pausing it to go to the next part. You guys see her? Here's baby JJ. Say hi, Auntie. I just getting all powdered up. So on my morning little sponge bath. So she's going to wear this little Carter's shirt. She's actually going to put on a little dress today. Just kind of trying to make her eyes a little bit from the powder. It's chilly here in the land of the rain. It's like 45 degrees this morning. So, but well, we got the heat on inside the house. So she's going to put on a short sleeve shirt. Got to iron though. Not as easy. It's, it's true what they say about dressing silicone. It's not as easy as you would think it is. You do have to be careful. But she's a cloth body, so you still have to be equally as careful with a cloth body versus a full body. I'm sure. You can risk, of course, pulling the arm. Uh, pulling the arm too hard or whatever to rip the silicone, she also can risk uh, pulling the arm actually out of the socket of the body. So, that's also one. Whew, okay, so, she has on a shirt. She's in the powder. Uh oh. Oh. There you go. She's in the powder. I'm going to fold it down. I got my shirt on. She has on a shirt. And here is her Carter's newborn dress. And it has um lime green and like a dandelion um yellow and pink and a red orange and brown. So it goes with her brown shirt. She's gonna put this on. And I'm going to put it over her head. Okay. Hopefully it looks good together. Um, I thought it'd be a good match since it kind of matches up a little bit. The brown. And it's a summer dress, but she's in the house. Since I had her, she has not been out. Um, since we moved, I don't I don't actually haven't took any of the babies out since I moved. Whew. So. so it's all right. It's not too bad, but here she is. Say hi, I look. So she has these brown socks with flowers on them. She's gonna put the clothes on. 
She already had these on before she took her bath. She just want to put them back on again. And uh, they're big on her because her foot is like the size of a preemie foot. And um, I have this pacifier. It's like a um, lime green and orange. And I'm going to put some always powder up her um, nipples before I stick them in her mouth. So it can glide in easy. Put them on here now and then we're going to put it in her mouth. It goes right in with the powder. Um, also, I was going to put this on her, but I don't think I am. It's too big anyway. Um, I'm going to put back on her scratch mittens for sure. Put a mint drawing so she won't scratch herself and I wanted to put her on a hat but I don't know what I want or if I can or if I still left it out that's the thing did I leave it out or did I put it up and then I think I might have put it back in her bag She has a French one of the day. She has bunny. This is the bunny that she came for. If you guys remember her box opening video. Then she has this sock monkey that I have had for years that I got at the thrift store. She has that and she has her brother's Mr. Owl. I don't know where her owl is. It was on the bed, but mommy has misplaced it. Let me look in here and see if I can find her a hat. I think I want to put her on her pink hat. This is a bag. I usually keep all of her. So I'm just going to go in here and see if I can find her hat. Hopefully it's sitting right up on the top. Oh, and then next video will be her bottle feeding because she hasn't ate today. Let me see if I can find her hat. I need to buy some more headbands. I'll get some more headbands. Then um, I can make her some more different color um, ones. I don't see the color. I'm looking for the cotton hat. It looks like she has a lot of stuff in here. And kind of, she kind of does. But then again, to me, she kind of does not. Um, Because there's a lot of pieces in here that doesn't have really anything to go with. Which is fine by me. Because some of the things I just put her on. On onesie and that's it. And she has four legs and four arms. Um, I can't find it. And just when you think you have everything set out, I really want that hat. Let me see. If I can find it. Just literally. Just had it. Don't know where I put it at. She got this in a box back there. But it's too big for her. She has a little, she has a monkey on it. Oh, Jojo, -Jo, what did mommy do with your hat, baby girl? I just had it, guys. I don't know where I put it. That one fell on the floor. That one's too big. Why is the dark pink hat? Can't find it. It's literally like disappeared. I just had it before I started the video. Ugh, I think that always happened in video land. Where you have all your things laid out, and then as soon as you start the video, it's like they all disappear. Here. It's just not the weirdest one. It has flowers on it. Can I see? Light pink. And, ooh, we got nine minutes. It's a long video. So, what's the bottom? It's too big. <laughs> but here's JJ. I dress for the day. I hope you guys like this video. Next video will be her, um, bottle feeding of course or whatever because she hasn't ate yet but i hope you guys like we're going to do a picture um for facebook and send it around to the group she said hi everybody tell your aunties hi hi say thank you so much for watching see you in the next one